you've got to be mindful that you do not upset pre-season for, for Newcastle. So pla- some of their players are already back now. Yeah. There's the players that, that are involved in, in international football have a little bit longer off. If they're going to do that, they've got to move quickly. What about Graham Potter? I mean, well, Potter's another... He, 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 th- he hasn't got a job. No, but he's turned down so, a few jobs. He ticks a lot of the FA boxes as well. If you're talking about a brand of football, at, at Brighton, he played a lovely, easy-on-the-eye attack in football. Didn't score enough goals for me at Brighton. That was a that was a big problem for him. And he's been... His, his, his reputation slightly has been tarnished because of what happened at Chelsea. But at that time, Chelsea... When we're in turmoil, you know, it, it, he didn't have the pre-season that, that Tuchel had. Tuchel was manager, if you remember, before, when Potter came in. Tuchel went. Yeah. Potter comes in. He's been given players, you know, the whole squad ripped up. It's a very... And as it proved with Frank, you know, who took over to then Ben. It, it was a mess. It, how much, how difficult that job was. So I think that, that the Chelsea one, you can slightly look at it in a different way. But yes, he he will be, and he's in, he, he's in some bookies. He's the favourite right now. Yeah, yeah. I, I like I like Grand Potter. We ain't got to pay a fee for him. No, you can go and talk to him tomorrow if yes. you wanted to. Yes, and yes, he's, he's, he's I think he's a very FA man. Very mind. FA man. But would you want that? Do we want FA man? Well, or do, or well, do we Southgate's want Southgate's an FA man? Yes, and but without the tactical, you know, now that I think that Grand Potter's got Grand Potter. Grand Potter proved, Potter's proved it, it, that he's got a philosophy and. Improved players, no question about that. Looked like some of the young players as well yeah. came. Came, I think about the like of Casado and you know, Callis. All those those players. I know they left. They, they stayed after Potter, but a lot of those players, mate, he brought on really is well. Is Sean McDermott the guy? Is he the FA guy yeah, in charge he, now? Is he? Was he the? He was my. He was uh, the academy director is, is, at Tottenham. Yeah, I think yeah, it's I know the same John guy. Well. It's the same guy. Yeah, is, yeah, yeah. He went guy. to Man yeah. United. Yeah, now he's obviously yeah, gone yeah, to the FA. Yeah, he's yeah. very, very intelligent, yeah. man. He knows his stuff. I, I didn't know it was actually him who was right, in charge. Right. He's uh, <coughs> definitely, definitely a top class bloke. He'll get it right. I know that because he's he knows how to get the best out. We're expecting as well. something to really shift in the next couple of weeks, aren't we? Mm. We it has to be. Before, like you said, September's not far away. Yeah, that, you know that 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 to start but, planning for that now. Yeah, but you know, like in in the past, I always oh, the FA they're going to get it wrong. Oh, they're going to you know we've been a bit of a mess. Let me tell you, John McDermott will get it right. Uh, let's go to Fred, who's a Liverpool fan. All right, Fred. Freddie. Hello there, Fred. All right, Freddie. Um, well, I'm, I'm not Fred. You're Fred. We won, we won the World Cup in 1966. This is 2026. Jurgen club. You have to put him at the top of the list. He's a uh, win. FA Cup, League Cup, Premiership. He's got all of qualifications. He's free. He's not being held by any club. He, he was brilliant at Anfield, Liverpool. And you want to win it in his year six. This is our year, Jürgen Klopp. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't don't doubt Jürgen Klopp's credentials. You'd have to talk to me about that. We, you know, no. Wax Lyrical about what... That's what, what he won it. Well, one... He left Liverpool saying he was going to take some time off. That was a couple of months ago. Yeah. Right? It's Liverpool. Now, we know that, you know, how Liverpool, a lot, not all, a lot of Liverpool fans feel about the national side. <laughs> yeah. I don't know whether that w- would be controversial from his point of view because how much he loves the city. Yeah. But in terms of what he's won, I mean, he's going to, if, if, if Jurgen Klopp decides, to, you know, to say, do you know what, I fancy him on job. Yeah. You're gonna go for it. Yeah, aren't you? yeah, you're gonna go you're, for it. Of you're no one in their right backwards. mind, unless you unless you're desperate. I would prefer, I'd love to have an Englishman, but you're telling me Jurgen Klopp's gonna manage England. I'm all over that. I just don't see him taking the job, mate. I, I just don't I, see him going down the route. No, I don't either. I don't. I'd love it, but it ain't gonna happen. Uh, all right, Fred. Thanks for calling. Let's go to Mike. He's a Man United fan. All right, Mike. All right, Mikey. Hey, buddy. How you doing, boys? All right. Yeah, good, mate. All right, good, Mikey. Well, I'm gonna put one out of left field. <clears throat> go on. Go on. It's not a man. Okay. Yeah. Is it a dog? Is it a horse? <laughs> <laughs> Bird? What is it? Is it a plate? Serena, the woman manager for England's women. Serena she's Vigman. A winner. Yeah, she's won trophies. She holds, you know, she holds all the records and that. Two, you know, two Euros, never lost. Uh, well, she came second in the World Cup, didn't she? Yeah, I know, but know. I know, but it's a different game, Mike. Like it's a different. It's not. It's the mentality of these men, the mentality of these players. You see it all the time. England, you know, people are saying, "Oh, well, it's Southgate." Yeah, it was partly yeah, but players as well. Did they all turn up? No. She'll motivate them. Yeah, but she might well, motivate would. them, of course. But the game's different, Mike. It's different pace, different ways but of playing. Try it. But try it. 
Why not? What do you mean why? You what do you mean why not? We've just we need to get the right person to take us into a World Cup. She is the right person. She's won bloody trophies. Something ten, but some people can't win. I mean, ten half in the struggle. women's game, Mike. She could do it. Give her a go. I reckon she could. Well, I mean, she, I did see um, on one of the bookies she was in the running. Um, I'm just trying to find the odds. Emma Hayes is also in the running as well. Can't quite find it now. But oh, she's sixty six to one. Um, well, what makes you think that, that she'll want the job, Mikey? To be honest, she's she's managed. I mean, she's done a brilliant job. She's with she's with the England women now. They're, they're on a, a campaign well, now. It'd be, be a step up, both for her, wouldn't it, to say well, why? Well, I don't know. Well, I you have to ask her that. <laughs> you know, we... saying, I think it's a step up. You know, she could do that. <clears throat> yeah, I reckon she could. I reckon she'd do a good job. Well, look, because she, uh, the, play, the people we got mentioned, the yeah. problem I have, none of them got international experience. Well, she's got that and trophies. Well, if she ticks a lot of boxes, I just don't see it happening, Mike, to be honest with you. I just can't see the FA going down that, that route. And, you know, it's, and even though she's done brilliantly well, I'm not, not sure the FA will be going. But like I said, she's in the running, as is Emma Hayes. So, so, like, their names are on lists in the bookies. Yeah, but, if, you know, if you've got Eddie Howe or Grand Potter, it's, come on. No, no I'm, I'm just saying, though, that it's... It, people, the bookies have got her in there. If you want to have a go and have a bet, 66s. Yeah, all right. All right, Mike, uh, let's go to Andy. He's a Man United fan. All right, Andy. All right, Andy. Evening, guys. How are you? You all right? Yeah, good, mate. How are you? I'm all right, mate. I'm a little bit uh, indifferent to Gareth uh, stepping down today. The style of football has left a lot to be desired for a long, 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 long time. There's no argument about that. One of the things he has done that I appreciate is he's brought a lot of the young ones through and given the Reds and uh, they're running, they're going, all right, he's not playing the right system to suit them. He should have known better because he's brought them through. Uh, the one thing I would say is, uh, I've, I've got to say, on national radio, uh, before I go on to the new manager, a very big thank you to the man because I was born in 1963 and I can vaguely remember little bits of 66. Oh, and you're three years Six. old? I was three years old in 66, what did you? What do you remember? Uh, I remember the uh, the final goal uh, when uh, Jeff first ran through and blasted What, when you were three? Yes, I remember the what presentation. What was he doing? What was he doing? Do you remember what I he was, was doing? Me, yeah, I was, I was, I was with, I've got photographs of it. I, I was with my granddad, right. my grandma and my mum in my... My, my, my grandma and my granddad's stuff. living room. What? I was there. I can remember it, Jay. I'm no, not. I'm not exaggerating no, it, mate. I, honestly, I don't know if you can remember stuff when you th I mean, look. Right, unless it was one of those momentous things that happen in in in, in life. Right. I mean, the history, thing yeah. that stuck in my mind. The thing mm. that stuck in my mind right. was when the fi when the final whistle went and yeah. the presentation. I was left sat on a settee, yeah. and my mum. And my granddad and my grandma yeah. were dancing around the living room like it was Christmas. Right. You but remember that? Moving on. Yeah, I, I can remember that You're as three. clear as day. Yeah, at three years old, boys. Yeah, honestly. I, I'm not being. I don't want to go. Out of a memory, that pal. Let, let me say something to I'm you, Jamie. I'm for breakfast. Let, let me say something to you, Jamie, and I'm okay. not going to go into a lot of detail personally, but I had a very, very rough, very, very rough upbringing right. from being a child. And a lot of things have stuck in my memory from being right. when I was a baby. Right. So that's why certain things are still there. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, Gareth, Gareth Southgate, I just want to say to him, yep. thank you very, very, very much for yep. taking England to a place where we've never been since those days under Alf. He's had us in three semifinals and two finals, albeit through the easy route. The bottom line is he can only beat what's in front of him. He's got us there. He's not got us over the line. That's the problem. Tactically naive, wrong choices at wrong times. Final point, boys. I have three preferred choices for the new manager. And yes, we're going to have to move quick because we play Ireland on the 7th of September in the Nation League. And then we play Finland three days later in the Nations League. So we need somebody in place who can pull, to, pull together the squad and look at what he's doing. Do, do the usual thing. Go and watch players, blah, 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 blah. The three names. The only English name I'm interested in is Eddie Howe. Okay. 
there's two overseas, and one of them's not been mentioned yet, but Adrian Durham was talking about him earlier. You want Adrian on. Durham as England gaffer? No. <laughs> Durham, was right talking about, Durham was talking about this guy earlier on, and he is a possibility. I don't know what Jay thinks. Potch. Yeah, I mean, Potch's name again. You look at the bookies, he's, he's in around the top three or four. Oh, he's it's, he's, a, the, other, he's... the other one that's not been mentioned, the other one that's not been mentioned in any... Any any platform. I listen to you guys all day, every day. Uh, listen to this station permanent, full stop. Uh, the other guy that's not been mentioned, and he's a serial winner in tournament football, and he's done it at two clubs in the Europa League, and that's Uriah Emery. Yeah, well, well I don't think um, I don't think to be too happy about. Yeah. It. But his his record again, you know, he's proven what he can do. And I don't know whether I, again it's different for Uriah Emery because he, he's he's not English. Yeah. Do you know, I think that, that the Eddie I think Howe really, one... I, I think, unless it's Jürgen Klopp, we go English. <clears throat> That's my opinion. Mm. Yeah, the Potch, the Potch, I mean... You know, Lee Carsley, Eddie Howe, Grandpa. Potter. Yeah, Lee Carsley's another one that, that we haven't really spoken about. Them three. Well, that, that's the clever. I mean, we just we've had a, a brief look actually at the back pages. It, Eddie Howe's all over the back pages. Yeah, I know. all over the I back pages. So yeah. that feels yeah. like it could be the front line. They might be starting to make. They might be making. They might have sounded them out. They're making phone calls. He's it? the number one England manager, isn't he? Right now, candidate. Yeah, yeah. It feels like it. it. Feels like. All it. right. Uh, keep your calls coming in. Loads to talk about. O three seven one seven double two double three double four. The Sports Bar with Jamie O'Hara and Jason Cundy. Monday to Thursday nights from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.